Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurd. I'm back on the A1, and I'm, I've am i worked on the drive, I call it the drive shaft. It has this little piece here, like that. And what that does is, if you can see on camera, there's a slot inside the shaft. So this drives it, and the whole carriage moves this way. But, in working on this, I had to re-nickel this, so I had to take this little washer out right here. This piece here that moves back and forth that goes in the slots of the, of the mandrel. And then you have to take it apart right here. So if you look closely at the end of that pin, and we'll rotate over, you'll see that pin is a little smaller. So what, what they did was, they put this, I'm only using this for demo, they put a tapered pin in. Both of them have a tapered pin. The hole is minutely bigger at one end than it is at the other. And they put a tapered pin in to hold them. So what I had to do was I took a tapered pin and I fit it to the to this. And then you had to, I had to cut it down. And then I filed it off right in here. You can see where I, I trimmed that and I trimmed this. And then I also did it on this end too. This is the big end. And you can barely see in there, there's a the small end. And that's how they hold these in place. Also on assembly, it's critical that you clean the inside of this out. I flex tone this out because there's a lot of junk in here. Because this round end piece right here, the round piece, literally floats on the inside here. It's a guide. So when it goes on, so you... And it'll go on. Take, there we go. And that's how it goes on. It goes like that. I am going to just put a minute bit of oil on this for the sliding part of the mandrel. And then the other problem that I ran into was on the carriage, this little bracket here that has this half round piece here, when you click everything with a handle, this is what rotates over and this, this is where the half nut fits and then that'll lift up the half nut like that. But on assembly, I was looking at it, and this is the original hole, and it had a tear out right here. And I thought, okay, I can hit this hole, but it still slipped over, so I'm going to have to re-drill this. Also, when you assemble, you're going to see this hole right here, which goes to that screw right there. Because this is the special, one of the special screws, this screw here, goes into that. And what that does is, you see how light these drill holes are when you put the lift lever on? These are the two screws and those are two little nicks in the steel that hold the set screws in place. But this is the one that holds the switching bracket. If you take this, you'll see that it fits into that hole like that to help hold it in place. But the little set screws, these have a tip on them like this. And you can see how shallow these little indentions are. But back to this, to the half nut lift lever part, you can, on your drill press, you can come in here and you can make this a little bit bigger. And then the set screw will just be sitting down a little bit lower and everything will work on this. But that's what I have to do. I got it all assembled and figured out, oops, so I had to take everything back apart. Now I'm gonna fix that part and put it all back together. And that's my tip for the day.